Hi, so welcome back to Real Auto Reports right here at a snowy Real Auto Ranch with our first impressions video on the 2015 Jaguar F-Type R Coupe. Yes, this is quite the potent cat, if you will, and we have a lot of first impressions to give you in this video review. So join us as we take a closer look. All right, so from the front on this 2015 Jaguar F-Type, one of the things I want to point out starting straight away here is this mid-detail line that then shapes the top of the fender here on this one-piece hood that comes up and forward. This comes into the line of the running lights that then shape the front headlight and follow the curve of the nose. Some great details in this vehicle with a little bit of a valley here and then the raised portion of the center of the hood, going back to that design of the XKE, if you will, even, and the XK types from the 90s as well. It is a beautiful front end. It does give us a sense of that Aston Martin kind of look, but really, I believe they're pulling this design from the mid-60s Jaguars that so many people love and that are so collectible today. You also have these vent details up here in the hood. Not really functional, but give it a nice look here on the F-Type R. Of course, you also have your JAG badging and your R badging because it is the high performance top of the line coupe model. Also notice that you do have park assist here in the front of the bumper and your, well, your shiny gloss black pieces of the front spoiler. You will want to watch this car on curves. It is very low. And from a first impressions perspective, we were quite impressed by the fact that the park assist picks up on the curbs more than they did in other vehicles we've tested in the past. But definitely stop short of those curbs or those parking bumps and watch those speed bumps because you don't want to damage this beautiful F-Type. Now, let's go take a look at the side and see how this coupe body really shines. Okay, so from the back, you can really see the performance orientation of this coupe. Some lines I want to point out here. You have this lovely flared rear end here with the rear tires set out from the front wheels, giving it that performance stance, of course. You also have this lovely line that kind of dissipates and blends right here over the rear tires. This is where your mid-level detail, so it's wider here and starts to narrow and creates the ledge that then becomes the definition point of this front fender line that I mentioned that goes into the hood. Beautiful design on this Jag. Of course, this is the point here, this little break, right with the vent detail, is where the hood is going to lift up and get to the engine. It's a front forward lifting hood, the same as on the Corvette in the old XKEs. I love the greenhouse detail here. Notice how narrow these windows are, yet the visibility out of them is still quite good. You have your gloss black trim all around the windows, and you'll notice that the mirror is folded in because it's locked and the door handles are flush. You can either unlock it from the key and the door handle pops out, as you see, and the mirrors open, or you can hit this little button here on the side of the door and it'll pop it open. Same thing with locking it. You press the door handle in and it locks the car. Nice attention to detail on this Jaguar Coupe. I love the, the coupe roof line here. And notice these wide pillars back here that blend into this body line with this thin tail light wrapping around. The hatch is actually very narrow here in the back and we'll show you that as we go around to the side. Notice these large 20 inch rims here on the Jaguar F-Type R Coupe and you do want to be careful with the rims because notice that they are fairly flush, just a little bit of tire wrap from these very low profile tires. So you want to be careful not to scar your rims on curbs and Honestly, you'll probably have a little bit of scarring just from potholes because of how low and wide the car is. That's the Jag from the side. Let's go take a look at the back and we'll show you how that rear door integrates in for cargo storage. All right, so from the rear, this is a tidy and sculpted rear end. You've got some nice detail here. Notice the little cut lines here that 
kind of section off this where the rear end is. It's a little bit of a, a point there, if you will. You have these lovely integrated and thin taillights, LED setup. Of course, your quadruple exhaust coming out the back. Variable, it will get louder. There's actually a button inside you can press to make the sports exhaust come to life and give you full sound and power. This is the rear spoiler from here to here and it lifts up at speed. And of course, then you have your rear trunk, which on some of these will actually open and close for you if you have that option. You can get a power rear trunk. Notice it is not huge, but it is well lit actually at night. And you can get a decent amount of things in here like golf clubs. For those of you who golf, you can get two sets of golf clubs in here and still close the rear part of the coupe. And if you have the power closer, you don't have to get fingerprints on it either. So you can tell though, as I reopen this for you, that this is a narrow trunk that just sits right there in between the full structure of the car. Great structural rigidity in this very well-designed car. A lot of aluminum in here, and it's pretty heavy, well above 3,500 pounds as it sits. So it's a heavier car than things like the Porsche 911 Carrera S, but it's still a little bit quicker according to some reviews. Let's take a look at the inside and then we'll go under the hood. All right, so from the interior, there's a lot to talk about in this vehicle. Great navigation system, although there are some complaints that the nav is a little slow. You have your steering wheel and bolster and all of these controls, variable bolsters here on the side and your lumbar support all here on the door with your three button memory seat. Yes, three memory positions, both passenger and driver. Love that, gives you a little bit of extra leeway than just two for some additional settings. You have, everything is easy to reach. You have your trunk release and your rear fog light. Yes, rear fog light, because it is, well, a British car. And you have lovely details like on the paddle shifters, the copper accents, your start button will be copper in this F-type as well. And the R steering wheel with the flat bottom so that you have more knee room and it is more of a racing kind of inspired design. The seats are, well, lovely, although they are very sports-like, so they are gonna grip you, but still be comfortable. You have heated seats in this vehicle as well. So you have pretty much all the luxury appointments that you would want. You have a full color readout between the gauges as well as your analog gauges for tradition. It is wonderful, but remember you can only get the eight speed automatic transmission, but somehow many people will see their way past that not having a manual because of how performance oriented and fun to drive this vehicle is. And it is a pointed well, the quality is very, good inside the fit and finish is good and the usability is a lot better than some of the competition from a first impressions perspective. Let's take a look under the hood at what powers this F-Type R. All right, so under the hood, you're gonna have the Jaguar V8 engine, supercharged 550 horsepower, five liter engine. It is mated to that eight speed automatic transmission that I mentioned. It is a quick shifting automatic, so it will give you that power to the road and crisp shift that you're looking for. Your miles per gallon in this vehicle, not that at a, over 100,000 you're probably worried about it, but it's actually pretty good. It's 16 miles per gallon in the city, 23 out on the highway, in 18 miles per gallon combined. Not bad for a vehicle that's tested to go zero to 60, at least in the flatlands, not here at altitude, at 3.5 seconds, zero to 60. Quite impressive for such a small vehicle. Also one that's carrying a bit of weight at over 3,700 pounds just sitting here. This is quite the vehicle and it is not as much a handful as some of the competitors like the M4. But we'll talk about that more in our real video in a little bit in our real first impressions driving perspective coming up next.
Hi, so welcome back. So the first impressions driving perspective, well, here we are, we've put it in snow mode. We definitely have traction control on as, uh, well, it's not a very friendly drive without it with sports tires and 550 horsepower coming from a supercharged V8 engine. So here's a little bit of an incline coming out of our driveway and it's modulating the throttle and actually doing better than the BRZ did when we tested it in the snow. Somehow they keep giving us sports cars in the snow, but it's definitely swishing around side to side. You can tell the traction control and the stability control is doing its damnedest to keep us on the road here because our roads are snow packed here at Real Auto Reports. However, we did get to drive this for the first Oh, kind of 12 hours in the uh, you know dry dry conditions and let me tell you super razor razor sharp handling you have great performance out of this vehicle in a several different modes including a track mode and a regular mode and a sport mode all acting very differently and then the fully manual mode with the manual transmission now what I will tell you is that from a driving perspective, it is easier to drive than the M4 from a first impressions perspective. It's smoother off the line. The application of the power to the road and the ability to get used to the car is a lot better than the M. Now, that is our first impressions on this vehicle. And as you can see, we are sliding downhill here. So we're gonna just take a right and go back to the ranch because, well, it is snowy conditions. But from a first impressions driving perspective, if you had to and you put snow tires on this vehicle, the systems are actually quite good at keeping the power refined enough so that you can drive in these slick conditions as long as you're careful. But it's probably not something that somebody would choose to do. I'm guessing if you have an F-Type R like this, you have another vehicle for more inclement weather uses, especially if you live in regions like Colorado where we get fairly regular snow. So that's the first impressions driving perspective. Crisp, quick, great sound, great suspension, great ride. Uh, frankly, from this kind of stiff sports car with the R-Type, with the R package on it. And uh, well, we're even able to cruise around our neighborhood on these snow-packed roads. If you don't believe how slick they are, I'll step on the gas here and it is, well, sliding the rear end around there and the traction control is just going all over the place trying to keep me on the road. So that is the first impressions driving perspective. We'll have the real wrap up coming up next. So that's the real first impressions video edition on the potent quick and performance oriented 2015 Jaguar F-Type R Coupe. This is, well, not meant for this white stuff at all, but we had to review it when we had to review it. So from a first impressions perspective, since it snowed the day after we got it, in the dry when we got to drive it real quick, it was good, it is powerful, it is so quick on its feet. Zero to 60 in about 3.5 seconds, 550 horsepower coming from the supercharged V8 engine. It is a true sports car the way the XKE was back in the Jag lineage. And I really do, from a first impressions perspective, like the way this F-Type looks. I like the way it drives and I love the way it sounds. It is a vehicle that if you get the chance to experience, you should jump at it. And from a price perspective, it tests at an MSRP of about $103 thousand dollars right about there actually a little less between 102 and 103 thousand dollars of course it will go up or down depending on what you option it with and its base price is just over ninety nine thousand dollars in the coupe f type r this is well a fantastic vehicle giving vehicles like the porsche 911 a run for its money and it's nice to see the Jaguar brand coming back in that sense with the quality, the finishing, and the pure performance that we see out of this vehicle. We are very excited to do the real video, the real review coming up here at Real Auto Reports. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And I'm Jonathan McGrew with the Jag F-Type R right here at Real Auto Ranch. And we'll see you down the road.